Hey everyone, this is Sarbjeet. You may be watching this in our Facebook group or YouTube channel, Business Analysts and Scrum Master in Demand. Uh, I'm Sarbjeet Deya. I have about 18 years of experience in this area in managing projects from a business analyst standpoint, <clears throat> excuse me, as a business analyst, as a project manager, and as a program manager. So today's topic, you guys, is what does the BA toolkit look like? What are the tools and applications that business analysts or scrum masters um, use in their day-to-day -day, um, job um, responsibilities? So here I'll talk about a few tools that I generally use in the day-to-day. -day. There are some tools that are very specific to the agile environment, scrum masters, and then there are some tools that are more um, you know, familiar or things that can be used in the waterfall scenario. So I'll try to do the best I can in covering both scenarios. And if you have any questions or any comments, please put them in the comments area below and I will get to your um, questions and comments. Uh, if not in this presentation, then right after, okay? So generally in a business analyst or a Scrum Master Toolkit, I'll talk about some of the general things that we do day-to-day -day as a business analyst or a Scrum Master. So the first thing um, that generally is um, probably 60% of your job is uh, even more than that. I would say 70 to 80% of your job as a business analyst or Scrum Master is around communication. It's about you getting, um, you know, providing the right level of feedback, um, requesting questions, act, tracking action items, um, and connecting with your stakeholders, right? And so for communication, some of the tools that we use are email, right? So generally in the work environment, uh, MS Project or Microsoft um, Office, sorry, uh, Microsoft Office suite of applications are mostly used in mo uh, mostly all organizations. So when it comes to communication and email, Microsoft um, Outlook is one of the most common used email platforms that are used in the industry. Um, Google, um, Google um, email, right? The G suite of email is also being used by uh, many of the smaller companies, but for bigger organizations, we're generally seeing Microsoft Outlook as a way uh, for, for team members to communicate with one another um, for communication, for scheduling meetings, and making sure that um, you're responding to emails. As a business analyst or a scrum master, even as a PM, we get a ton of email each day and every day um, that, you know, require us to provide a response to our project team uh, to make sure that we're communicating meeting notes and that we're communicating and asking for action item updates. So email um, in terms of communication is one of the top most um, uh, goals and responsibilities that you may have is to monitor your email and respond in a timely fashion. Okay, um, another one that we use for communication is Microsoft Teams. Um, if you're using, if your organization is using the Microsoft suite of applications, then MS Team is one uh, of the many tools that we use for communication. So what is Microsoft Teams is more or less like a, like a chat. So um, think about like WhatsApp or any um, chat uh, functionality that you can connect with their team members and ask them quick questions. Teams also gives you the ability to have group chat with a couple of team members. So that way uh, it could eliminate the need to like schedule a meeting and get feedback. Um, it also gives you the option to store and, um, you know, uh, save uh, e documents in SharePoint Teams is backed uh, by MS SharePoint. So that way, if you're sharing documents, it allows you to do version control and allows people to uh, update uh, the document um, collaboratively. So MS Teams is one Slack um, is another um, communication tool that you could use in the workplace. Um, those are really the only ones that I've seen. There may be lots more that are available in, um, in the industry, but MS Teams and Slack are the two primary ones that I've, I've used um, in my organizations. So the other item that I talked about a little bit is SharePoint. So that's a document repository. So when you're working as a business analyst or a scrum master, it becomes really, really important that you share um, your project documentation and anything that you're working on with the entire project team. And how do you do that? You do that with the document repository because document repositories are shared, the, the links are shared with the team. 
And this is where, what, and first, before I talk about how to use it, a document repository is an area, a designated area where you share your project information or documentation. So it could include training materials. It could include your project documentation like BRDs. It could include your project plan. It could include you know, your open action items list. So it's anything that's related to the project that your project team across a project team needs access to. And generally as a rule of thumb, and these roles, business analyst or scrum master, are generally, um, you know, team oriented roles. So you definitely want to share um, your project documentation with the project team. And we use document repositories to share um, information across project teams. Microsoft SharePoint is one of the many uh, document repositories that could be used. Um, again, most organizations use the Microsoft suite of applications. So SharePoint is, again, another one of those tools. And it's nothing more than um, sharing documentation in a centralized place for your project team to access. Um, the, the worst thing that you can do is work on a project team and save all your documentation locally, right? So that really doesn't um, make, um, allow you to share uh, the project status or anything that's happening um, if it's shared on your local drive. So that's generally the reason why we share stuff on document repositories so that way they can be shared across a project team. You could also share project documents in a shared drive um, if you don't have SharePoint. And again, a shared drive is something that's shared with the project team and you can use it to load information that the project team may need in their day-to-day -day activities. Another one that's becoming really popular is Google Docs. As I said, lots of smaller to mid-sized mid organizations are starting to use Google Docs, the suite, uh, Google Docs suite of applications. So if your organization is a, uh, a Google shop, then you guys may be using you know, the Google folder structure and sharing structure to share um, project documentation, okay? So again, any sort of document repository where you can share um, project information across a project team um, is a toolkit that business analysts or scrum masters use day to day. And the other um, item is just in general, Microsoft suite of applications, um, in my day-to-day -day job, I use Excel, Word, PowerPoint um, quite often, and so do business analysts and so do Scrum Masters, right? Um, in the waterfall scenario, if you're documenting um, BRDs, most of the time they're in Excel or most of the time they're in MS Word um, for the ease uh, of use and the ability to share them across the project team. We definitely do RTMs in Excel to make sure that we can track status. So um, I've done a few videos on how to, uh, on uh, uh, a few videos on my YouTube channel that show you how to use Microsoft Word to make your documents look uh, a little bit more professional. I've done videos on Excel to show you how to make your Excel documents look a little bit professional. And then also uh, a few uh, you know, tricks and tips on how to create uh, professional looking PowerPoint presentations. So I will link those in the comments for you guys to watch. But um, my, overall, Microsoft suite of applications are, are very much used in as a BA toolkit. And those are things that you guys should know how to use. Uh, I'm not saying expert level, but at least enough to make sure that your documentation and things that you're sharing with your project team look decent and professional. So um, you can find those other videos um, in the comments after this um, so that you can um, have an understanding of how to do those um, things to make them look a little bit, you know, a little bit, a little bit jazzy. The other thing um, that may be included in the toolkit is JIRA if you're in the Agile environment. And you may be using um, JIRA to track your user stories, to track, track your sprints, and to track your product backlog. JIRA generally is only used in, in the Agile environment. Um, generally, if you're in the waterfall, you have a full set of BRD that gets sign off, and then we track those requirements in an RTM generally in an Excel file, but in the Agile environment, we use JIRA or a tool 
uh, similar to Jira that can help you track your product backlog, can help you track your sprints, and can help you track your requirements from beginning to end to make sure that we are in fact delivering what we intended to deliver. So Jira or tools like Jira are, are very much used in the agile environment. And I think I have one more item on my list is a Microsoft project. So while business analysts and scrum masters may not have access to MS Project, uh, MS Project, again, is another um, tool by the Microsoft Office suite of applications. MS Project is generally used by PMs, um, and they are the only ones that generally can update um, the project plan unless you are helping your PM with this responsibility. So generally, there are very limited licenses for MS Project, and the goal of using Microsoft um, Project is to outline tasks and uh, milestones for your project. And generally, as I said, project managers are the only ones that use it, but your input or your items that you're responsible for. So if you're working as a business analyst, you will have timelines to work on your requirements and to get validation on your requirements. And you know, so the things that you are responsible for a business analyst or scrum master will get pulled into the project plan. So while you may not be responsible for updating or creating a project plan, you will be responsible for providing input to your PM or to your scrum master or your product owner because your timelines go into the overall project plan that your PM is going to manage. So again, while um, it's not important that you know the ins and outs of a MS project, um, it's important for you to know what it is and know that you'll be um, at some point working on providing dates and timelines to your PM for your area of responsibility. Okay, so that concludes my list of, um, you know, things that are needed in the BA toolkit. If you guys have any questions, um, please let me know. If you have other training topics, also let me know. I'm always more than happy to cover topics that are helpful to you guys. And with that, uh, let me just do a double, just a quick check to see if I have any comments right now. And it doesn't look like I have any at the moment. So again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your comments and your feedback. Um, I do read all of the comments um, in the YouTube channel, and I can't tell you how much they mean to me. It does encourage a content created to keep going when we receive good um, feedback. So thank you again for all the wonderful comments that you uh, give to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. We do lots of um, content in this area, in the areas of business analyst and scrum master. And with that said, um, I will talk to you guys later. Next week, I think there's another topic. We do have a training calendar that is out um, till end of October or end of November. And as I get more training topics from you guys, um, I will go ahead and continue doing this service. So again, thank you so much for being here. Uh, leave me comments, questions, concerns that you may have, and then I'm more than happy to address them. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.